This is Mr. Ivan and um, this question that we're going to talk about is angle properties. It's not just angle properties, uh, it has radian measure in it and we will know why, okay, going on. Now, when you see angle properties, right, the first kind of concept they always want to test you uh, is whether you know that you can see angle in the same segment. Okay, how does angle in the same segment like? Remember the starting point and the ending point must be the same and then these two angles would be equal to each other this is angle in the same segment okay the next they want to test you on is whether you can spot most of the time lah, okay is that angle at center is equals to two times angle at circumference all right only when this is o all right and then again the end point must be the same yeah all right a b then this angle is two times this angle okay this is the second concept most of the time they want to test you and then the third concept talks about tangent all right and when you have tangent okay so the third concept talks about tangent tangent is perpendicular to radius okay then if i have another tangent all right these two tangent mean an x this is called tangent at the external point this would mean these two triangles are all congruent okay so these are the three major concepts that usually questions in uh, involving angle properties are going to test you okay so you have something like that number one you you look at the 29 degree it starts from d go to e and go to c d also goes to a and goes to c all right so first you already have to spot that this is equal to 29 degree and it just happens to be what the first question wants all right so how do you present angle c a d is equals to 29 degree y angle in a same segment all right so that's cool one mark only number two three marks then you wonder what are they going to ask me for for three marks okay angle a b d where's angle a b d angle a b d is here all right and so a few things that can run in your mind is angle a b d is opposite to who is opposite to angle d e a opposite to him eh? all right now these two because they are in a cyclic quad they will add up to 180 degree but does it help you can you find a e d you look around you probably can't and then you start to ask yourself why do they give me this why do they give me 58 degree now they say that dt okay and at are tangents okay which means this and this is equal to each other all right which also means that this is an isosceles triangle this is an isosceles triangle again does it help you maybe maybe not okay and you realize you have nothing and then the next thing is a tangent is totally useless uh, when it has no radius okay so now let's try and draw a radius okay so let's assume that there's an o here all right and we draw a radius to d there's an o here and then we will draw a radius to okay let's say the o is here eh? okay and then we will draw a radius to a okay now by drawing this radius right remember concept number three i say is that tangent to the external point this would mean that okay if i draw this here all right it would angle o triangle o d t and triangle o a t are going to be congruent triangle and if it's congruent triangle it also means that this is a angle bisector so which means angle so i'm going to start writing now okay let o be the center of circle of circle okay so this would mean that angle O T D is equals to fifty eight degrees divided by two, which would give me okay twenty nine degree. All right, twenty nine degree is that a constant uh con coincidence? I don't know. All right, so after I found this, I can find what is this angle. Okay, so which also means that angle um D O T is equal to 90 degree minus 29 degree which is equal to 
like 61 degree. Alright, this means so it means that angle D O A equals to 61 degree times 2, which is equals to 122 degree. Alright, now I found that this is equals to 122. Okay, why do I need to find that? You realize that D B A is subtended by who? D A. D O A is also subtended by who? D A. So it means that DBA is half of DOA. And that's how we get the answer. So therefore, angle DBA equals to 122 degrees divided by 2, all right, which is equals to 61. And the reason is angle at center equal to time angle at circumference. Okay, so remember, most of the time they want to test you these three things. Whether you can see angle in the same segment, whether you can see angle at center is two times angle at circumference, and whether you can make use of the tangents to find the angle properties. And like I say, this is a tougher question. Why number one is three marks? Most circle properties are one or two marks. Okay, when it's three marks, means you got to probably introduce an external point. So we introduce an external point O because a tangent is useless without its radius. Alright, so think of it that way. Okay. Next is justify with reasons if AC is a diameter of the circle. Okay, so let me just bring the let me just bring the question down. Okay, so AC, where is AC? AC is here. Alright, now, how do I know if AC, how do I know if AC is a diameter? Only, then you have a fourth concept, okay, which you learn is, again, in a, this is called, right angle, triangle in a semicircle. Okay, so this is the concept. Alright, so you need to justify whether angle CEA is right angle or not. Okay, so how do you know? Alright, we need to find that. Okay, so what are the things that we have? We have 61 degree here. Alright, and then you realize that. You realize that. And Angle DEA is equals to 180 degree minus 61 degree. Why? Opposite angle in cyclic quad. Okay, and this would give me to be 119 degree. So which means angle C. EA is equals to 119 minus 29 viola it is equals to 90 degree so since okay uh, triangle CEA is a right angle triangle okay by by angle in semicircle okay AC is a diameter so usually when they ask you that if is this a diameter most of the time it is but it's about how you justify that this is a diameter you got to look for the right angle triangle within the diameter okay and then so the last part, another, okay, the last part we are looking at this, another circle with center T passes through A and D, okay, given that, so T is now the center, yeah, given that the parameter of the minor arc, so let's, let's try and draw something, okay, you can you draw something like that, yes, you can, so this will actually form a sector, okay, given that the parameter of the minor arc D, A, T, Okay, it's equals to uh, 18.07, find the value of AT 
So let me draw this out. I have T, okay. I have A, I have D, and then I have an arc, all right. And I know that this is 58 degree. Alright, so arc length, there's two set of different formula. One if it's in degree and one if it's in radian. Okay, so I will just write down. The radian one is actually given in your formula sheet. For degree, the area of the sector is equal to theta over 360, a proportion of the angle times the area of the circle, pi r square. For arc length, is equal to theta over 360. Same thing, a proportion of 360 times 2 pi r. For radian, the area of circle is half r square theta, where theta is in radian. This is given in your formula sheet, and for arc length, it's just r theta. Now, in this case, we are given degree. When you are given degree, you use the formula in degree. When you are given radian, you use the formula in radian. All right. So, what are they asking for? They are probably asking for at. So, at since that this is a sector, so r and r, we let at be equals to r. Alright, r plus r plus 58 over 360 degree times 2 pi r will give me equals to 18.07. Alright, so I will have 2r plus 58 pi, okay, over 360 rather 2 times 2 okay is equals to 18.07 all right just some manipulation on top so now i factorize um, r out r bracket 2 plus 58 pi times 2 over so in this case this will be 116 uh, 116 pi over 360 Okay, is equals to 18.07 and if you divide over r will be equals to 6.00 cm. Okay, so this is just a simple radian measure question just to revise on the formulas. Radian one is given, degree one is not given. Okay, and in angle properties, recall these are the four important angle properties that they want you to know. Right angle triangle in a semicircle. Ex okay, tangents at the external meeting at the external point. Angle at center is two times angle at circumference, and angle in a same segment.